Mmm, seven layer dip. This is another one of mom's recipes, which includes one of her special secret ingredients and that I veganized. This seven layer dip is made with homemade refried pinto beans, homemade guacamole and salsa, and vegan sour cream and cheeses. It's so fresh and delectably delicious. Definitely a crowd pleaser. Hi everyone. Welcome to Earthwalk Harmony, where I share vegan recipe creations and offer tips on how to live a more harmonious, resonant lifestyle, because living in harmony allows you to do what you enjoy more and enjoy what you do. All right, let's get into this dip. So I've already cooked some homemade pinto beans last night, and now I'm going to refry them in some vegetable shortening. And then I'm going to puree them with an immersion blender to get a smooth dipping consistency. And honestly, this is my first time using this thing and wow, it's pretty awesome. I wonder what my grandma would think if she saw me using this gadget to make refried beans. Anyhow, loving it. And now off to the side here, I have the secret ingredient my mom always used to really put her dip over the top, which was chorizo mixed right in with the beans. So I'm using soy riso mixed into my beans here and it tastes delicious. It just gives them that little nice little kick. Okay, so while the beans cool down, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the guacamole. And I really make amazing guacamole, I really do. It's not super fancy, it's just really tasty. But the real key to making good guacamole is starting with rich, well-textured, good-tasting avocados. Not too ripe and not too watery and definitely not too firm. If your avocados are subpar, then you're going to have to add a lot of lime or lemon juice to compensate for the lack of real robust avocado flavor. So, but it can be salvaged, but it's just better to start off with, with really good avocados in the beginning. So go, so make sure you buy extra. <laughs> just in case you have to weed out some bad ones. So the guacamole is done. So now I'm gonna slice the tomatoes for the topping. And I'm using grape tomatoes, which are pretty much my favorite because they're so rich and flavorful. I love tomatoes. And next, I'm gonna slice the olives. And these olives are slightly lighter in color than the usual black olives, but they taste amazing nonetheless. And then I'm cutting the green onion bulbs to go into the salsa. And then I'm chopping the green onion tops to garnish the dip. And then I'm gonna cut some yellow chilies for the salsa as well. Okay, so next I'm gonna make the salsa. And it's a pretty simple and delicious recipe that was shared with me by a friend. And it's my go-to salsa recipe that I've used for years. I love the flavors from the green onion bulbs and the cilantro and the cumin against the acidic backdrop of the plum tomatoes. So tasty. And there we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna grate the vegan cheeses. And I know it's sold already shredded, but I wanted to use a finer shred, so sometimes I just buy it like this in a block and grate it myself. Okay, so everything is prepped, and now I can begin layering and building my dip. So the beans are the base, and I've decided to layer the guacamole next to try to prevent it from browning by packing it between the beans and the vegan sour cream. So next comes the sour cream, and I stirred it up to make it nice and smooth and spreadable. And I like the Tofuti brand. Kite Hill is good too, but it's a little more on the sour side. And then I'm sprinkling on the vegan American cheese shreds. And 
and the vegan jack cheese. And next, I'm gonna sort of drizzle on the home, homemade salsa. And it's a little tricky. You just have to be patient. And then I'm gonna top it off with the olives, the grape tomatoes, and the green onions. and a little vegan sour cream decoration to be festive. And wow, look at that. <laughs> Looks amazing. Make sure you get some hearty tortilla chips to scoop up this dip and really enjoy it to the fullest. I think I need a helper chip here. <laughs> Mmm, oh my gosh, delicious. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing vegan recipe ideas. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.